Okay, welcome back everybody to another ranked match. Okay, we're gonna start off with two duelists, Prankster Crown, gain an edge of night and a Zoe. Sure shot crown, knife's edge. Okay, so we have two Kales, two Camilles. I do have one Senna, but I don't want Sure Shot Crown. I think it's a reroll. I roll her dice. Okay. I'm taking I'm taking high roller dice. Okay, let's level up. We got Vi. Gangplank. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna just put in two Kales. If you're three starring Ramus and Cho'gath, dice at level five or level six. Oh, I see. I thought you're supposed to dice at level seven for three star threats. Okay, we got two star Kale. Uh, we got Blitzcrank. A meal. Okay, let's go admin bonus. Time I start your team gets 20% shield. Make 20 gold. Level 5, level 6, because the chance of getting the 4 star threats are so low, so you can get Ramus, Velkos, Cho'gath, Mad early. So you're supposed to actually find a Ramus. Velkaz, Cho'gath, at level 4, level 5. Oh, I did not know that. But we're not going to be wasting our money like that. I don't think I want to be rolling my money like that. <clears throat> I'm just going to chill. We're going to econ a bit. I want to make like 50 gold. There's Ramus and Vel. I think I'll take the Vel. I'll take the Vel because I don't like the sword on Ramus. Okay, we got Cho'gath. Oh, people holding Ramuses. Yeah, I think we want an Econ. So this guy's holding on to Ramus. That's really annoying. There's another guy holding on to Ramus. So right now we're trying to three star threats. We don't want these guys all holding our guys. But fortunately they are. So we're gonna keep all our dices. We need to make more money here. At level five, we're gonna dice. So we're gonna be dicing at Krugs. Uh and then or we're gonna yeah, we might have to dice at Krugs because our team is so weak right now. And then we have to three star some threats. So now we're level five and we're gonna dice. Just you can dice any threats, doesn't matter. You guys ready? Dice the Cho. Perfect. So we're just gonna dice once. And uh, that's all we're gonna do. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. So we got two star Ramus. This guy has one Cho. I know there's somebody holding Ramus. Or maybe they sold it now. Okay, it looks like they sold it. There's one guy with high roller dice. But this guy might be playing Kaisa 3. We don't want anybody contesting for our threats. Okay. Belveth as well. That's dope. Okay, let me hammer the bow. We got Glove. Okay, I'm not gonna slam any items yet. I think I'm gonna dice next round. Imagine hitting Built Diff on your- No, Built Diff does not work with threats. Yeah, by the way, Built Diff does not work with threats. So never take Built Diff. Alright, Portable Forge, Get Rich Richer, Double Trouble 2. Is it Double Trouble 2? Oh no, it doesn't work. Double Trouble 2 does not work, so we gotta go Portable Forge. It doesn't work with threats, by the way. Anima Visage, right? Anima Visage. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna dice again. Double Zack. Oh, this guy's doing the same thing, bro. We're being contested, bro. Oh, 
Oh, that guy decided to contest me, man. Damn, that's annoying, bro. That guy decided to contest us. We're already close to Ramus 3. But that one threat guy, man. That one threat guy, bro. Okay, so we're just gonna make some econ again. Our team is very strong now at this point. <clears throat> so we're gonna be playing vertical threats. We need one more item for the Ramus. All right, there's a Ramus sword. I'll just take the Ramus because I just want to three-star this guy quick. Take it. So this lobby, there's two-star Vel. This guy has Vel. I think Vel cause is too contested. There's like way too many people at Vel cause. So I think we should do like a soul carry. Let's go level six. Bring in double Cho. Yeah. So most likely we're gonna do Aurelian Soul Carry because Velkaz is being held by so many people in this lobby. Uh, so Aurelian Soul 2 will be a carry. We'll bring in the Zac and Belveth, I guess, when we hit them. Uh, we should get a Ramus 3. We are very close to Ramus 3 this game, so that shouldn't be a problem. We're done, baby. Bro, why would you contest with me? Okay, so we sold the Belveth because actually we don't need Belveth. We don't have items for him and he was a waste of econ, so we dropped him. We're one Ramus away. So let's go level seven and roll down. Two stars axe, good. There we go, we're done. Okay, so we gotta give Ramus a final item though. Best thing is probably Ionic Spark. The three star Ramus has been hit. Three star Ramus has been hit. That's done. And then Aesol will get the items. Fear of Shojin, Jewel Gauntlet, sure. This guy was trying to contest us because he also took high roller dice, but I have Ramus 3, baby. He has Aesol 2, though. He has Aesol 2, but I have Ramus 3. I win. Frozen Tundra, gain of Elkos, combat star. He has 30% chill. He chills his enemies for 30%. You should definitely take that one. It's actually a pretty good augment. 3, 2, 1. Oh, he hit 3 star Cho. Ducky Bathhouse hit a 3 star Cho. Okay, so he actually has a chance now. I still gotta hit 3 star Cho myself. But this guy's holding on to some Cho Gaths. That's really annoying, actually. I think I'm gonna have to wait until this guy sells his Cho. He's playing Echo and Prankster. There's no way. He's gonna keep Cho, right? It wouldn't make sense. This guy's probably gonna play something else. There's two threat players. So it would be dumb if other people were trying to contest us. Ooh, the Zed hacker. And this guy beat me. I have two Velkaz on the board. I still need a soul too. That he's never gonna kill Ramus three. This Ramus three is insanely tanky. Got he's got Adam of Visage. A soul survived, and the set is definitely never gonna kill the Ramus. Okay, so we got bow glove. I need to get a sword. On, I guess Negatron. Is this? Nah, it's not spat. Let's go large rod. Okay, let's scout this lobby. 
Just trying to see if the Cho'Gath is being held. This guy's still holding out to two Cho's. Alright. Go. So I could just go level 8. Or we can roll down. I might just go level 8. Yeah. We'll just go level 8 because... There's just one annoying guy who's holding out to two Cho's. And then there's that 3-star Cho Cho'Gath player. I'm not sure if we're going to hit Cho'Gath 3 right now if, if I roll. So it might just be a waste of money. So in this case, it's probably just better to go level 8. Yeah, roll down to level 8. You'll still have a chance to get Cho'Gath 3 anyways. We'll probably hit him at some point. And we need A-Soul 2. So for A-Soul 2, we want level 8. Alright. We'll go. Pivoting real quick. Alright, so let's put some money into the level. So we're going to be going to level 8 soon. This guy should be wrecked as well. So you guys can see this threat. This this uh, strategy is very strong. So if you dice at level 4 or level 5. Level 4 is the best time to uh, use the dice. But you can also just dice at level 5 like I did. And you can easily hit 3 star Rambus. Or 3 star Cho. Or sometimes if you get really lucky you'll get both. And you can just win streak from that point on. Okay, so let's go to level 8 now. We still have 55 gold in the bank. And then we're going to roll down level 8. If we get Fiddlesticks, Urgots. I got Rambus again? Okay, let's open this. We need to get a sword because you always want a giant slayer. Uh, and then this can be anything really. So what are we looking for? We need a souls. Literally just buying threats. We got one Cho'Gath in that roll down. Okay, I'm just gonna bring in one Samira. <clears throat> I think it's a Shroud. Oh. He sent a Zoe down to my A-Soul. Kind of annoying. Actually, Belveth is... Not worth, is it? Again, I think if you don't have Belveth items, I think Belveth is just very bad. I don't know. Belveth 2. Is Belveth 2 worth it? I'm gonna win this. It's a Ramus 3 carry. Would you play threats without dice? Actually, I'm gonna sell the Bell. Yeah, I really don't think he's that useful. I would... I, you could still play threats without dice, um, but the strategy is much more broken with the dice. Yeah, the strategy is a lot better with the dice. And yeah, we're not hitting a soul, man. Biggest problem is we're not hitting a soul. Okay. We have almost Urgot 2. The Cho'Gath is not coming out, but we need a soul 2, like really bad right now. <clears throat> we need a soul 2, like really bad. Gun Blade. Do I want to build Gunblade? Easy win. Easy clap. Oh, Zed's on the right side. Just go Gunblade, Bell. Poor Ace Soul, he's dead. <clears throat> I don't know if this guy will beat me though, because again, I don't think he can kill the Ramus. <clears throat> he can't kill the... can he? Oh, he might kill the Ramus. Okay, yeah. If a soul dies, it's over, I guess. Okay, I'm going to take probably a Gwinsu. 
Yeah, I'll take a Gwinsu. Okay. I need one A Soul, man. Okay. If I'm the right guy, I think I am. This guy is the three star Cho'Gath player. He's the one who's contesting us. <clears throat> I'm on the right I think this guy's screwed because he grouped up. Yeah, he, he screwed. I mass shrouded him. He got mass ergoted. Hopefully, he dies here. He's going to free up all the Cho's and the Belkos. Oh, he's not dead. The next guy is uh, grouped up like crazy. This guy has two star fiddle, but that's not enough, right? I got a perfect shroud. I got a perfect shroud here. Ramus is like never ulting though. Okay, this is a two star Aesol diff right now. I swear, it's, it's a two-star Aesol diff. Okay, so... The other threat player finally died. And he probably freed up all the threats now. Very unfortunate that he ended up contesting us. Otherwise, this game would have been very easy. We didn't have him on our... butt the whole game. But, uh, yeah. He is... Now, threats are free. Blue buff. I'll go blue buff. But we should have Cho'Gat 3 easy. And finally an Aesol 2. We will probably get a Belkaz as well. We should bring in a Syndra. Next guy is a Zed player though. I have to move my guys like this. Oh. How did he predict me? This guy didn't move. Because the other guy's on the other side. But he perfectly positions for me. He predicted to fight against me. Really? Even though you should be worrying about the other guy, bro? He actually beat me. Because, yeah, he, he had better positioning than me. Okay, well, he's dead. Doesn't matter. He's dead now. Here we go. Let's get Syndra to pull. Uh oh. Let's get Syndra to pull the bell causing the Urgot. So if we lose here, it's over. He's at level 10. Keep this in mind. He's at level 10. So he has two more champions than me. Okay, looks like I beat him. Oh, this is close. No, we lost. I killed every... He has just too many guys, I think. I think he has way too many guys. Why would I not build Sunfire? Because Aurelian Soul has Sunfire or Morello. He already has Morello in his kit. You don't need Sunfire if you play this guy. He hit Leona 2. Um, I think it's over. I think it's over. Let's just try Janna again. <clears throat> so Janna's getting us a shield. Maybe this is better. Some shield. Extra shield for the team. If I had 3-star Vel, we might have one. If I had 3-star Vel here. But we don't have 3-star Vels. Yeah, we lost. We're dead. That was a good run. Uh, so that is how you play. This is a win in my books. 
This is how you play High Roller Dice, 3 star Ramus or Velka super fast, win streak to win your game. Uh, or get a top 4. Thanks for watching.